Hello and welcome to Optics Trade Debates. My name is Tadej. My name is Theodor. Uh, today we'll be discussing uh, about ICOPs. What are the ICOPs? What are the purpose of ICOPs? Uh, features and types. So I'd like to ask you first thing, um, what, are the, what is basically the purpose of ICOPs? Well, <clears throat> if you look at the binoculars and why there is such a big deal about the ICOPs is that people have very different faces and some people even wear glasses like myself so binoculars ease of use is directly depending on the quality of the eye cups because let's say the difference between me and you i wear glasses and i have a different uh, shape of my head than let's say you so i definitely need the eye cups which go completely uh, down so that i can come close with my glasses to 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 the eyepiece lenses. So this is something what, uh, what, uh, uh, what is really important with the, with the eye cups that they enable me to use these binoculars normally. And on the other side you don't wear glasses, you have different uh, eye cavities so you need to put your eye caps out and then you can use the binoculars well. And because there are many different uh, people, because everybody, every one of us needs different configuration of the of the eye cup, eye cups, and different uh, distance between the surface on which we lean with our face uh, to the to the lens in the in the eyepiece part. Uh, it basically means that the better the eye cups, the easier a wider group of people will use the binoculars uh, comfortably. So this is the purpose, that every single person, no matter if, if he wears glasses or not, no matter what kind of shape of his uh, eye cavities and so on is, is able to use the binoculars comfortably. So this is the purpose of, of, uh, of eye cups. What of the features of eye cups? Well, there are many different, uh, I would go directly to the types. Okay. Uh, so the most basic types are the fixed eye cups. And these are very problematic. Let's say like this, binoculars AB42, they have a fixed eye cups, which I'm not even able to use with glasses. I don't get the full field of view. The same with some poor prism binoculars like here. Uh, you could squeeze these eye cups into this, uh, I would say, into this position, but then you will definitely damage them. And in this position, I can use them with glasses, but it's also more hit and miss affair. And in, in, in this position, they are meant for all other users, no matter uh, how the eye cavities uh, look on this users and so on. So it's really, really hard to get a good, comfortable fit to many different users this way. So this is the first time, fixed eye cups, which is not a good idea. Then you have a multi-position eye cups like this. On this binoculars, you have two positions eyeglass wearers and everybody else. Yes. Again, it's better than fixed, but still more, I would say still, they don't cover all the groups of users. And with this Steiner, it's also the same, only two positions, but they have one additional features and these are this, uh, they have Wind. winched yes. eye cups. This is for low light use so that all stray light, which comes from the side is block, blocked. Some people really like this approach, I know you and our customers which wouldn't use any other binoculars, uh, any binocular that wouldn't have this. On the other hand, if, you're, uh, if you use glasses like myself, then this is more or less uh, a thing you don't wish to have on your binoculars. Uh, but this is a feature which is not so important. For some people it's really important, for the majority it's not. If you go back, two position eye cups are, again, they are better than fixed, but it's not a great achievement. Uh, these are also two positions, we could say this one are a little bit more, um, I would say they are meant to be used like this, while with the Swarovski it isn't. Uh, you will damage the eye cups if you do this many times yeah. here. They are produced in a way that you can do this uh, a couple more times than with, uh, with the Swarovski, but still you will get some wear. And again, you only have two positions, not more. And then you have advanced binoculars, there are many of this type now which have multiple positions. Let's say this like it has one, two, three, four, five, 
six positions. I would say, okay, six minus the maximum on one side and maximum on the other, so four intermediate positions. This is something what everybody can use. This is something what every single user will find the position which will suit him. And this is something what is uh, most sought for in the binoculars, to have a multi-position eye cups. And still, even binoculars like this cannot please all the users because the, the diameter of the eye cups and the shape of the eye cups will again not fit all the users the same. But still, this is the right approach to go into the, into the direction of uh, producing binoculars with, uh, with eye cups which have multiple okay. positions, at least three. If they have more, it's even better. So it's really, uh, really uh, very nice to have multi positions because uh, it really suits to every person uh, for, each, for each person uh, yeah. separately. So this is really a very good feature for uh, <coughs> most of the most of the high quality, more expensive binoculars have multiple position eye cups. The problem is, of course, that the price goes up. Yes, of course. So, but someone who is using the binoculars a lot and so on, it's it's really worth the investment. Yes, of course. Thank you, Theodor. You're welcome. I think we covered most of the questions about eye cups. Uh, if you have any additional questions, yeah. If you forget, if we forgot anything, or if you did any mistake, uh, please use comments on this YouTube video. We will definitely come back to you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you liked uh, our video, and see you next time. Take care.